my name is Giovanna Proens and today we're going to talk about packages, please, of CS50 introduction to databases with SQL. And this is the exercise of week one. For this week one, we were learning a little bit how can we use subqueries, how can we join tables to get the information we want. And in this project in particular, we're going to work more with the subqueries. The part of joining will be the next two exercises, okay? In order to download the source code, you need to get down here, clicking download the distribution code and follow all of those steps. All right, what we're gonna do in this exercise, we're gonna have three scenarios with missing information and we're going to find out what's, what happened with the package or the letter. And our goal is to kind of solve a mystery and then we're gonna output the answer in the answers.txt. Everything we're gonna write will be inside of this log.sql. So all the steps we're taking, it's gonna be stored in here. And our goal is to answer those three uh, parts of question here. We have our database and in here in this database, we have four tables one for addresses, one for drivers, another one for packages, and the last one is for scams, okay? Let's have an overview of what we have in our hands. So a driver makes a scan and a scam of package from or to an address. And we have a combination between the table scam and the addresses, all right? So this is an overview of the relationship we have between the four tables. So drivers, driver has a relationship with scam, Scam have a relationship with the four tables. Package has a relationship with scam and address. And address has a relationship with packages and scam. Okay, and this is very important because we need to find out the information we want. Okay, so without further ado, let's understand our first scenario, the lost letter. To start our journey here, we need to read this report and we're going to use some parts of the information in here to solve our mystery. All right, so this first report is about a missing package comes from Anaki. Anaki walks up to your counter and tells you the following. Clerk, my name's Anaki. I, I live over at 900 Somerville Avenue, not longer ago. Not long ago, I sent out a special letter. It's meant for my friend Varsha. She's starting a new chapter of her life at 2 Finningen Street down uptown. That address, let me tell you, it was a bit tricky to get right the first time. The letter is a congratu congratulatory note, a cheery little paper hug from me to her to celebrate this big move of hers. Can you check if it was made its way to get to, get to her? So in this particular case, we need to find out what happened with our package. We have some information. We know where it came from, so from 900 Summer View. We know where it go, went for, for, so where we sent to, to this two Finnegan Street. And we already have a notice here. This might not be the correct name for the street. And it also tells us what we have in the letter, this chewy, chewy little paper hug in this package, all right? The best way to start is understanding if we know from where it came from. So let's see if we're able to find the package that came from this avenue here, all right? So I'm gonna do step by step with you. We have in this table addresses, we have the ID of the address, we have the name of the address and which type it is. All right, so let's see if we're able to get this content here. So I'm gonna write all my steps in this last letter. So select star from addresses where, and we're gonna say the name of our street. So the address, it's our column, is equals to this one. All right, so let's try it out and see if we're able to find this address. And as we can see in here, we're able to find this address. We have an ID, we have the address, and we have the type. All right, so this address exists. Now let's see if the address we're trying to send the content uh, is correct. So we're gonna try to find this street in here. We're gonna do the same step. So select star from addresses, where address equals to this one, okay? Let's see if we're able to find an address. And when we run it, we can find any result. So this is, might be our problem. The address that the person sent is not correct. So let's first find what is the correct address, all right? So I'm gonna put in here, instead of saying equals, I'm gonna use the word like, and I'm gonna say that I wanna try to find a fin something. Let's see if we're able to find a fin street with the number two in front. Okay, so if I run it again, we're able to find a Finnegan street that is residential. So we don't have the Finnegan as it's written here with the letter E, but it's Finnegan with the letter I. So we already notice what is the address that we're having the issue, okay? Now that we have the address we're trying to send, we can try to understand 
what is the package we can get here from our packages table where we have the information about the content, the from address ID and the to address ID. We know what is the from address ID and the to address ID because we did this query here. We know that it came from 432 and it goes to 854. So we're going to write the following select star from packages where from address ID address ID is equal to 432 and let me shrink a little bit and to address ID is equal to 854. Let's see if we can have the information using this part in here. And we're able to find that our package contained a content congratulatory letter. That is exactly what we saw in the report, right? But let's improve a little bit more our query because it's not a nice idea to write exactly the number 432 and the number 854. We got this number by doing a subquery. So if you remember from the lecture, a subquery is a query inside another query. So we can kind of call this query inside. We already noticed that this query here will give us exactly the ID 434. So instead of using this number, I will open up a parenthesis and I'm gonna paste the query I did. Okay, so this query here means the number 432 that we meant and the name, the number 854. It's another subquery of something we did before. So instead of hard coding the IDs, we can use subqueries and it will be much more organized. If we run this way, we're going to get the same. Um, let me see. All right. Instead of a star here, we need to put ID because they need to match. OK. And if we run this, you will see that we're going to get the same output. The congratulatory letter, the from address ID is the one we're expecting and the true address ID as well. All right. So this is a more sophisticated way of writing our query. But that is not enough. These are information we already know. They want us to answer these two questions. What at what what type of address did the lost letter end up? So if it's residential, police station, other address, type of address that we can find here in addresses. Okay, this type that it do appear in here. And at what address did the lost letter end up? We already know at what address, but let's use the scam. Okay, so let's use the scam in our case to know if the package was dropped at the right address. All right, so here we have the package ID. And we know the package ID is 384. We know the address ID. Actually, we're going to check what is the address ID and the action, if it was picked up or if it was dropped uh, in, this, in this place. So let's say I'll select star from scam where and what we know where the package ID is 384. So where package, oops, package ID, that it's our column is equal to 384. But instead of using 384, we're going to use the query we just used to get the content. But instead of star, we're going to use the ID. So I want to get the ID and all the subquery inside. So we have one subquery inside of another. And the nice thing, we're going to be able to find all the information about this package. So when I run it, it's not scam, it's the scams. Let me run it again. And you will see here that we know that the package was picked up at the address we found and it was dropped at the address we also know. So as we did before, the address that we went to is this one in here. OK, I just wanted to show you what really happens. So this is the address and this is the residential type we need to write. So the first answer is at what type of address it will end up. It's residential. And at what address did the last letter end up? We know that is the to Finnegan Street. OK, I did some other things here to show you that it's consistent, our answer, but only the first query would be needed. OK, so this is the first scenario. Now let's work with the second one. So now the second scenario is, is the devil's delivery. So in the second report, a missing package comes from a mysterious fellow out, from out of town. They walk up to your counter and tell you the following. So let's see this report. Good day to you, deliverer of the mail. You might remember that not too long ago, I made my way over from the town of Fifteville. I gave a certain box into your reliable hands and asked you to keep things low. My associate has been expecting the package for a while now and yet, it appears to have grown wings and flow away. Ha! Any chance you could help clarify this mystery? Afraid there's no from address. It's the kind of parcel that would add a bit more. Quack to someone's bath time if you catch my drift. Okay, so this seems a little bit mysterious, but we have some, a few information we can work, some pieces. Like, there's no from in the address. Um, the person that is expecting to receive didn't receive the package and he mentioned something about quack and it can be used in bath times. Um, so let's see a little bit the things we need to answer. 
So at what type of address did the DVOs delivered end up? So we need to know if it's residential, business, police station, any other one. What were the content of the DVOs delivery? So first, we can check. We can start with this piece of information that afraid there, there's no from address. So we're gonna search in our packages table where the from address ID is no. If you remember from the last lecture, no means nothing. So we're gonna find which rows we have we don't have information for the from address all right so we're gonna work only with this table right now so i'm gonna write select i want to know everything from packages from address id is no and this way we can check which package has no uh origin and here shut up we know that the only information we have in our table that has no from address is this one with the content duck debugger. So we know already this is the content and this is what they are asking us. So what were the content? Here is the duck uh, debugger. And where did the DVOs delivery end up? So now we know what is the package ID and we can work with our scans table to get where this came from, where this goes actually. So let's do the following. We can do another query to get only the ID. So select ID from packages where from address ID is no. Here we're doing the same query, but we're getting only the ID. And if I run in here, we're gonna get 1598. With this subquery here, we're gonna find all the content about this package. So I'm gonna say select star from scans where, and let's see, where our package ID is equals to 1598, where package ID is equals to 1598. But instead of hard coding 1598, we have this subquery here that is causing the same number. So we can paste exactly oops exactly the same subquery we did but i'm gonna put the semicolon here so let's get the information if i run in here we know that let me clear a little bit we know that it was received it was picked up in here in this address 50 and it was dropped in the address 348 okay now we need to find what type is this uh this place here of id 348 so we need to work with the addresses in the addresses we're gonna ch check for the type okay so we need to get this particular query here where the action was dropped so i'm gonna write another subquery that i want to get the address id from scams where package id is equal to the package id we saw that is 1598 and action is equal to drop because we want exactly this number 348 so let's see if i run this in here we're gonna get exactly the address we want now with the address we need to get what is the type of the resident if it's a residential or not so select a star from address addresses actually where id is equal to 348 i could hard code this 300 48 but we know that this came from this subquery here so instead of hard coding i'm gonna add the subquery here inside so it's pretty good that you do the subquery step by step otherwise you can be a little bit confused okay and here i think i'm displaying to you all the steps and as we can notice here it came it went to the police station so this is the type we need to write in our answer so this package end up in the police station all right now let's go to the last scenario so in this third scenario here, we want to search this forgotten gift. Let's take a look. Your third report of missing package comes from a grandparent who lives down the street from the post office. They approach your encounter and tell you the following. Oh, excuse me, clerk. I had sent my a mystery gift, you see, to my wonderful granddaughter off at 728 Maples Place. That was about two weeks ago. Now the delivery date has passed by seven whole days and I hear she still waits, her hands empty and heart filled with anticipation. I'm a bit worried, wondering where my package has gone. I cannot, for the life of me, remember what's inside. But I do know it's filled to the brim with my love for her. Can, you, can we possibly track it down so it can fill her day with joy? I did send it from my home at 109 Tillestone Street. So here we have a few pieces of information that we can use. So we know what is the address of his granddaughter, what is his address, and 
we need to solve two questions and one we already wonder. What are the contents of the forgotten gift and who has the forgotten gift, okay? So let's start by getting the ID of his address for the grandparents. So we know that they live at 109 Tillestone Street. So we're gonna get the ID of this place. So let's write in here. Select, I'm gonna get a star from addresses. Let's see if this address exists. Where is address equals to 109 Tillestone Street. So if I write it in here, there is no address table. So it's addresses. Okay, let's see again. So if I run it, no addresses, I added one extra S here, I'm sorry. Let's try again. And we have this place with this ID, this address, and this time. Now that we have the ID, that's 9873, I'm gonna change here to ID. And if we run the query, we're gonna get the same ID of where their grandparents live, okay? With this information, let's see if we can figure it out about the package. So I'm gonna say select, and we wanna know everything of packages table, okay? So everything here from packages where from I think it's from address ID is equal to 9873. As we already noticed, we don't want to use the number 9873. So we can use a parenthesis and we can put this subquery inside. Okay. So we know that select ID from addresses will give us exactly the same address we're searching for. And now we know that, let me clear here and put more to the top. We know that the content is flowers and it started from 9873 and the address is 4983. I'm guessing that 4983 is the address of the granddaughter. We will double check. So we already know that the missing content are flowers. So the contents of this gift are flowers. All right, now let's double check the address. So just because I'm curious, so select star from addresses where ID is equal to 4983. Since we're not going to use this for any real purpose, I'm going to use the number. And as we can see, the address is 7 728 Maple Place and is exactly where they are expecting to send. All right, so this is not a problem. Let's now use the scams table to know if the driver let the package somewhere or if it's still with him, okay? So I'm gonna do the following. We know from here that the ID of the package is 9523. If I change, let's change a little bit the subquery to get the ID. We will notice that this subquery here will give us exactly the ID of the package that we want, 9523. So we're gonna use this subquery to get everything we know about the package ID 9523. So select star from scans where package ID is equal to 9523. We don't wanna use this number, so I'm gonna put here the subquery as we already been doing so far, okay? And that's pretty much, this is what we want, okay? So we have one subquery instead of another. So let's see what happens. So here we have that the package was picked up, then it was dropped, but then it was picked up again. So something happened, right? So the uh, the package is still with someone. And we need to see here by the timestamp that the last person with the package is the driver 17. But we need to figure out who is the driver 17 and we have a driver's table. This driver's table, we have the ID of the driver and his name. So let's figure it out. Here, instead of picking up everything, I'm gonna get the driver ID from scams where package ID equals to blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna order this from the most recent to the least. So order by uh, timestamp and I wanna get the last recent. So if we order by this way, we will see that the table will change. 17 now is the first, but I don't wanna get the three numbers. I'm gonna limit by one. If I limit by one, we're only gonna get the number 17. Okay, so if we limit by one, we only have the number 17. With the subquery, we're able to find the, the driver. So select name from drivers. I think it's name, let's see. Name from drivers where ID is equal to the subquery we just copy. Okay, so let me put here, let me play around a little bit so you can see this clearly. So we want to get the name from drivers where the ID of the driver is 17. But instead of writing 17, we got 17 by running this subquery here. Okay, as we already saw. So if I run this way, we're gonna get only one name for the ID 17, that is Michael. If we take a look in here, the ID 17 is exactly Michael, so it's with him, okay? And if I run it in here, we're gonna complete our program, okay? If you wanna run the check 50, you do dot quit, you can clear your terminal, and we're gonna copy the check 50 and see if we pass the tests.
So as we can see in here, we got a green, so this means we are correct and we're done with this exercise. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, you can send here on the, the comments or you can join our Coding Doors. It's a platform to learn you how to code, where you can also talk to other people from around the world. All right, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.